guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, tomorrow will be three weeks uh, since my wreck happened, so uh, feeling pretty good. I only have a little bit of, um, I, I believe it's called caustic chondritis, and that's just inflammation of the uh, intercostal muscles, which are the three layers of muscles that hold the ribs together, like vertically in place. Um, I just have a little bit of that uh, right here on my ribs still. Uh, you can see I probably look a little chubbier because I've, <laughs> I've been putting away the calories, just trying to make sure I got enough. Because I read that um, you know an adult, if they have like a 2,500 calorie diet normally, when they break bones, um, their caloric intake needs can uh, go as high as like 6,000 calories. I don't think I'm taking in that much, but yeah, I've been doing a little extra. Um, Obviously, I haven't been exercising very much because, you know, I'm just trying, I've been trying to just keep myself stable, let my bones heal where they're at. And although rib bones do heal faster, they have, I believe if I read it correctly, there is a carrier protein that hypermobilizes uh, the repair, uh, if I'm saying that right, the repair of the rib bones. Um, so that's good. Normal, rip, normal uh, healing time is about three to six weeks. And being that my number seventh rib is uh, was mildly displaced, is mildly displaced, um, I'm assuming I'm probably going to need closer to the six weeks. So um, I can breathe in deeply. So, you know, I can take deep breaths. And I've been practicing um, opening up my chest just to try and make sure that any scar tissue that does form in those muscles or wherever um, the ligaments, stuff like that, doesn't heal in a tight um, position. You want to make sure that you're stretching your rib cage out, um, taking deep breaths, holding them, doing that. If you can, every hour, um, multiple times a day at least. So, yeah, so I'm doing pretty good. I'm finally in the garage again. I'm um, starting to look at my bike, see what's wrong with it. There's not really much wrong with it other than, you know, the jetting issue after I put the new piston in, which I'm still dealing with, but my throttle's awesome. Um, that moves super easy and uh, yeah, so. But if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the alert bell that we can come on back, check out what we got going on here. I'm always doing something. Even if it's just healing, I'm still doing something. <laughs> so um, yeah, don't forget to smash the, the uh, like button. I always appreciate that. And thank you for everybody that's been uh, praying for me as far as recovery. Um, that's been coming back to the channel, watching the videos. My watch time's going up, so I really appreciate that. It might be because of the sled guys. You guys are all coming back watching my videos, so that's all good. you got to start getting motivated to get your sleds ready and prepped for the winter because it is coming. So that's that. You can't do nothing about that. So, But, yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. So next Friday, which is going to be... Um, we, I'm thinking the 15th, I think is what that is. Yeah, the 15th. I have a doctor's appointment to uh, get another x-ray. So they're going to check and see, uh, you know, how much bone repair has been done. Um, I've been, I have been taking a few things for a while now. Um, I've been taking BioTrust Multicollagen, and that is good for hair, skin, bones, joints, you know, the whole nine yards. So I've been taking that. I've actually been taking it twice a day. Um, it says you could take it with every meal, but I started off taking it once a day, but then I kind of moved into two times. I would take it in the morning with my breakfast. And it's just a powder and it's chocolate flavored. You can mix it in with, I don't drink coffee anymore. I drink something basically called chaffee. It's chocolate coffee bean, or it's, it's a chocolate bean grounds. And so it's, it's a lot better for you. It's not acidic. It's more alkaline. It's got vitamins and minerals it's got um, antioxidants in it and instead of constricting your blood vessel and ra blood vessels and raising your blood pressure it actually uh, dilates your blood vessels and lowers your blood pressure lowers your heart rate it's super good stuff so I drink that in the morning and it brews just like coffee it's by Creo brew check it out I'll put the link in the description but um, so I drink that and then I will put the BioTrust um, multi-collagen in that 
and it's just a hair of sugar and then milk. And uh, so I take one of those in the morning. I take a dose in the morning and it's just like, I think it's like a tablespoon. And then I'll do another little bit at night. And I drink tons of milk to begin with. So, I mean, yeah, I get plenty of calcium there. But I also take calcium supplements. Um, another thing that I take is Quantum Digest. And they say when you turn 40, you start losing the ability to produce as much of an enzyme. It's a digestive enzyme that helps to break down your food. And it helps to um, allow you to break down the vitamins and minerals in the food and to properly and optimally absorb it. So you can, are getting the most vitamins and minerals you can. So I'm going to be 44 at the end of the month. So I've been taking that the whole summer. And I actually started, um, I was doing just one in the morning and then I started doing one in the morning, one at night, cause you can take one with every meal. So I've been taking it in the morning with my lunch and with my dinner as well. So I've been taking that. And then, uh, this week I ended up getting off of Amazon. It's called something, it's, it's something called bone up and it increases your calcium intake as far as, um, helping with your bone density and bone repair and stuff like that. And you take two of those with every meal. Um, so I've been doing that as well and I've been eating really healthy and like I normally do, I've been getting plenty of sleep. The first like two weeks I was getting, <sighs> praise the Lord, I'm even able to get 10 hours of sleep first and foremost. And then, uh, I've had to sleep on the end recliner of one of our couches this whole time. Cause I, the first night it happened that Saturday on the 18th, I tried laying down in bed. It felt like someone was breaking my ribs all over again. Uh, although I didn't know that my ribs were broken at that point, but, um, yeah, so I couldn't even lay down a bed. And when I got up, oh my gosh, it felt like someone was just stabbing me with a knife over and over, like just slowly inserting it in my chest. It was horrible. So I slept on the couch in a recliner. Um, I couldn't recline all the way. Well, I reclined the normal position and then just reclined a little bit after that. And had pillows on both sides and that really helped to, you know, make me comfortable when I slept. Um, but Tuesday after it happened was the first day that I took any pain medications. I don't know why. It's just, I don't like to take anything if I don't have to. Well, I had horrible muscle spasms and I'm talking like, imagine, imagine a cramp, a muscle cramp anywhere, but happening like in a fraction of a second, like from feeling none of it to full excruciating pain, like fraction of a second. So it was getting pretty bad. So Tuesday night, or yeah, I think it was Tuesday overnight. I woke up, I don't know, two, three o'clock, two or three o'clock in the morning and just horrible pain. So I took though, I took four cause you know, I'm like 195, 200 pounds. So I took four of those and that helped out tremendously. So I started taking those, I think Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday, I took three doses of 800 milligrams. And then that helped me get to a point to where um, I also started using a hemp cream. Actually, I started using this hemp roll-on. It was called free, Hemp Freeze or something like that. And you could roll it on. So I would roll it on every spot, like on my chest and on my back that was just killing me. And that really helped, plus the ibuprofen to stop the muscle spasms. And so... Um, when I started do that, when I started doing that, that really actually put me in a different direction because I just felt like um, it was helping to bring the inflammation down and then it was limiting the muscle spasms and then any spasms that I did have that hemp that like CBD freeze, I think it was what it was, what it was called, excuse me. Um, that really helped to make me comfortable to the point to where I could just relax and that brought my stress level down. Because when you have pain like that, your stress level just goes up so high that it, it causes a, a hindrance with your healing. So you want to make sure that, you, you know, if this does happen to you, you want to make sure that you get your pain under control so you can be as stress-free as possible and just relax, let your body heal, get as much rest you can, right, caloric intake, stuff like that. So I started feeling comfortable the weekend, like to the point where I could walk around um, towards the end of that, that first week. And so... That Friday, I ended up calling. Oh, no, no, no. I think it, no, it was the Monday. I didn't even have to call. Monday, I went to the urgent care by us, which is right in front of my wife's hospital. And um, went in there, got x rayed, and I got it. Well, first, I got examined. The doctor, you know, he came in. I told him what happened. 
And he was like, all right, just, you know, let me feel where it happened. Show me where it happened. And he was pushing around on my ribs right where they ended up being broken. And he was like, yeah, because I didn't feel any pain. It wasn't a lot of pain at all. It just, you know, just felt like he was taking his thumb and kind of pressing it in between my ribs, which, you know, that's kind of like pressure points. You know, if you, you press behind your ear, that's a pressure point. It just felt like that's what he was doing. So he looks at me and he goes, honestly, he goes, I don't think you got anything to worry about, but, you know, we'll give you an x-ray and we'll get you checked out. So I get my x-ray done and, you know, I was, went back into the waiting room for like 20 minutes and all of a sudden I hear him start talking. He was like, yeah, he, he does motocross and he's 43 years old. And he kept talking and then I heard him say, yeah, number seventh is displaced and five through nine are broken. And I was like, that he can't be talking about me. He said, he must be talking about me. I was like, I just couldn't believe it. And so he comes back in, and as soon as he opens the door, I looked at him and I go, did I just hear what I thought I heard, that 7th is this place and 5 through 9 are broken? And he goes, yeah. He goes, I never would have guessed that by how comfortable you are. So, yeah. Um, I don't know why I was so comfortable other than just trying to take care of myself. Me being a Christian, you know, I believe that Jesus in the name of Jesus is very powerful. And so we pray on a regular basis. And, you know, that's one thing that I prayed for. So that's what I attribute my, my limited amount of pain to. Whether it be from been given the thought to take ibuprofen and use the hemp oil, Whatever the case may be, that's what I attribute it to. So I had limited pain. I've had limited pain. Um, you know, there's just spots where it was weird because like right here in my ribs, this spot out of nowhere just got really sore and like pain burning for like two or three days. Like I couldn't even get up out of my chair, even, you know, or get up, get up out of the recliner, even putting my hands behind my back and lifting myself up off forward off the recliner to close the recliner and it was just a horrible pain right here and so that finally went away and then I started getting um like a cramp in that big muscle on the right side of my spine that goes from like the the bottom of your your shoulder blade down you know down your back I started getting a cramp there and it was kind of sore on the back and then things have just, you know, gradually, I'm to the point now where I don't take ibuprofen at night. Um, I'm not using the CBD cream anymore. Oh, because I ended up getting a cream too. I went to the health food store and I got that CBD, uh, CBD freeze roll on. And then I went on Amazon and looked up some stuff and ordered a, a 10 times pain relieving CBD cream and had like eucalyptus in it or something or menthol, I don't know. You know, it kind of feels like icy hot, but um, that stuff helped awesome. So I had, I was putting that on every night. Had my wife do, you know, my back and the right side. And I put a lot of dry, put my shirt back on, take some ibuprofen, put my earplugs in, and go lay down or go recline on the couch and go to sleep. I was taking my wife to work every morning and yeah, it would hurt for the first, gosh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday were pretty bad. Monday was just unbelievable getting in. I mean, I've, it was just... For some stupid reason, my natural instinct was to grab with my right arm, and I did that, and I was just like, ah! Oh! I mean, it just hurt so bad. So I figured out a way to get in and out of the truck, blah, 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 because I had to pick her up every day. And, you know, no big deal. It's just something that I felt like I needed to put myself through. Um, so, yeah, uh, now I'm coming up on three weeks, and, you know, I, I have a little, I've been getting myself more active. Um, our carport that I keep, it's a portable carport that I keep our, well, four of our sleds in. Um, that ended up ripping because it's like three or four years old. Well, the tarp ripped on it and I ended up ordering a new one. It's a Harbor Freight one and the brand new, the whole thing's like 225 bucks. I didn't want to tear the whole thing down, you know, rebuild it. So I found out that I could call Harbor Freight Parts and I ordered a new uh, canopy for the whole thing. Well, I put that on... Um, three or four days ago and I had to crouch down and disassemble some of the framing so I could pull out the pipes and put them back in the new one once I get the new one on and then bolt it all back together 
And yeah, I was a little sore that night, but then it seemed like things were a little looser the next day. So I've been trying to reintroduce activity slowly. I'm back out in the garage now and just wanted to give you guys an update. Like I said, uh, just, you know, going through checking compression on the bike. I'm going to check out. looks like um, the handlebars are a little tweaked. It doesn't look like they're bent. It's just the two mounts are just tweaked again. So I'm going to reset those. I'm going to end up getting new tires on it. I would like to go at least one weekend on uh, coming up at the end of the month. So that's my goal. So pray that I heal up enough. But I'll give you guys another update uh, after the 15th and let you know how my x-rays went. I'll try and show you the x-rays um, in this video. I'm sure you guys have already seen them, actually. So, <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'll show you where the brakes are. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. But... Um, yeah, so thanks to you guys, thanks to everyone for coming back and supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. Things are starting to pick up a little bit. Um, all the sled guys are coming back and viewing the, the channel. It seems like at least some of them. So, but share the videos. You know, get get the stuff out there so things can further progress and you know my situation can progress to where I can provide more content for you guys, better content, stuff like that. So, all right, guys, we'll see you in the next video. So make sure you subscribe, hit the alert bell, and we can come on back and check us out smash the like button. I appreciate that. You guys rock. So stay safe. Ride red. Come on back. Take care. God bless. See you guys.